back to this week on TMB News, your go-to source for a run of the week's noteworthy events. And I'm Sunaina. Before we dive into the headlines, let's take a moment to appreciate the diversity of stories we've got lined up for you. Absolutely, Sunaina. From the impactful to the hardening, we've got the full spectrum. So let's jump right into the stories that unfolded in the past week. Now, let's explore some of the significant regional updates that are making headlines. In a significant development, the mobile internet ban in Manipur has been lifted, bringing relief to the residents. However, the ban remains in effect for specific areas and authorities continue to evaluate and address concerns in those reasons. Manipur Chief Minister commands the people's support for a historic peace agreement with United National Liberation Front, UNLF, led by Pambay. Tragically, fresh violence erupt in Technobal resulting in casualties during a militant gunfight. Security forces are actively investigating the incident, adding to the ongoing conflict crisis in Manipur. Continuing with the somber news, the last rites of the 13 individuals involved in the Tenopal incident were conducted at Andro Torongtel during the last hours of Wednesday. Now on to a concerning incident, a driver detained in connection to the Ukrul Punjab National Bank robbery with robbers fleeing towards the Myanmar border. The investigation is underway and no group has claimed responsibility for the audacious heist. Meanwhile, in a swift action of Manipur Police, Imphal West District Police successfully foiled a kidnapping attempt at Deo College of Science on Saturday late night operation. The kidnapper had demanded 15 lakh rupees in ransom for 22-year-old DM College student Lystrom Chinglen Singh. Swift action of the police team led to the rescue of the victim from a house owned by Asem Chauba, 63 years at Yumnam Huidro Makalikai, with four suspected kidnappers apprehended on site and four others in nearby vehicles. Additionally, authorities uncovered arms and ammunition during the operation. During investigation, the kidnappers revealed they belonged to Kesipi People's War Group and were working under one Lamian Bakuman. In the meantime, Info West SP Ketrimayum Sivakanta Singh appealed to the public to inform of such activities or any related to nearby police station. In a fight against drug-related activities, Poppy Plantation self-destructed in Kangpokpi as a part of joint mission in the war on drugs. Security forces are conducting search operations in vulnerable areas of Imphal West, Taubal and Bisnupur districts. On a brighter note, the Rotary Club of Imphal honors outstanding contribution with Vocational Services Award, recognizing individuals for their noteworthy contribution to society. Now, let's broaden our perspective to international news. Global media applauds Prime Minister Narendra Modi's victory in three states, anticipating its impact on the 2019 Lok Sabha election. The victories in Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan are seen as a significant expansion of Modi's political dominance. And now, moving on to the national news. The BJP sweeps the Hindi heartland in the 2023 assembly election, securing a dominant victory in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. Meanwhile, the Congress claimed Telangana. The results set the stage for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections, emphasizing Prime Minister Narendra Modi influence. In a setback for the Aam Atmi Party, the party contested 205 and lost all failing to cross the one-person vote mark in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. Back in Manipur, another mighty insurgents group, National Revolutionary Fund in Manipur, NRFN, joins the peace process following the recent agreements with United National Liberation Fund. This position development aims to contribute to the restoration of peace in the region. Addressing challenges, the Supreme Court steps in to aid 284 displaced Manipuri students 
with various educational options ensuring continuity despite challenging circumstances. Lastly, let's celebrate some achievement. The IMA College of General Practitioner Faculty, Manipur, received the Best State Branch Award with Dr. Shyam Kumar Lashram honored as the Best Dedicated Director. That concludes our insightful journey through the week's event. Stay tuned for more updates on This Week on TMB News. I'm Motria. And I'm Sunaina. Thank you for tuning in. Good night.